My name is Remzi Emiroğlu. I, I am the director of the transplant team and uh, I have been working in Acıbadem Hospital for eight years. So it, this center is mostly dedicated to transplantation and here we are doing around 120 liver transplants and around 200 kidney transplants per year. So in our center we can do both adult and pediatric cases. Uh, and mostly complicated cases are referred to us and uh, we are a referral center so we have all kind of transplants uh, so the same team is doing both the kidney and the liver uh, we can do adult and pediatric cases we don't have age limits or weight limits We know how to do the operation very well, uh, but the, how to manage the complications is the hardest part. So at the beginning, surgical complications is the main problem. So sometimes bleeding, and sometimes bile leaks, uh, sometimes uh, the liver can, may not work very well. So you have to know how to deal with these problems. And after the early postoperative period, the infections uh, are the most important problems. So you have to have a very good uh, infection disease uh, committee, uh, which can manage with these problems because the infections are different from normal population. We have fungal infections, we have viral infections, and these infections are uh, more complicated and uh, hard to treat in immunosuppressed patient. So uh, after that period, after discharge, the, the biggest problem is the, uh, the structure of the bile duct. Uh, before, 10 years ago, the bile duct structure uh, ratio was very high. It was around 20%. But now uh, we decreased it a lot. Now in our center it's around 5%. So this is a very, very good ratio. For the patient who finalized their treatment here in Turkey and at the hospital, and now they return to their country, uh, what is your advice for them to take good care of themselves? Uh, this is also very important because we, we do the transplant to have a long follow-up period. Because if you look and take care of your liver and if you use your drugs and uh, you can live with this liver forever. So uh, after the transplant, we want them to stay in Turkey at least one or two months. And during this time period, uh, we teach them uh, what to do and what not to do. So uh, they have to learn uh, how to use the drugs, uh, what cautions they should take uh, in here. So the sun, the plants, sometimes animals, uh, we inform about all of these things. And after they turn back their country, uh, we want them to send the laboratory results to us. So at the beginning, we want them to send these tests every month and then uh, every three months, and then every six months. So during this follow-up period, they should not stop their drugs. They will use the immunosuppressive drugs lifelong. It's very important because the biggest problem in young patients, after five or six years, 
they stop their drugs and then the uh, liver rejects and they lost their lives so they should keep contact with us so Algeria is a hot place uh, after five or ten years the biggest problem is the kidney failure and the uh, cancers especially skin cancers so they have to protect themselves from the sun they have to use creams uh, for women uh, Gynecologic cancers are very important for men, the lung cancers. So we want them not to use the uh, cigarettes and the alcohol. Uh, some obey these rules and some they don't. Uh, some metabolic problems. Metabolic disease is another problem. Hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, cardiac problems and in the long term follow up these are the biggest problems and mostly we lost our patients because of this metabolic diseases. So they have to have contact with uh, a doctor in their country and something uh, extra happens they should get contact with us. Uh, also professor what, what message would you wish to pass for uh, other coming patients who are, perform who are having liver cell houses and probably they are watching this video. Uh, I can say that Turkey is one of the best places that they can come. We have uh, very good centers in Turkey but uh, the only problem is not the surgical skill. So they have to choose a hospital uh, with good team uh, because the preparation, the follow-up, the post-operative period needs not only surgeon they need a good pathologist a good nursing system they need a good ICU and the equipment and the capability of the hospital is very important so uh, of course most of the surgeons are very skillful in Turkey uh, but the team in here is dedicated to transplantation. We have our own pediatric gastroenterologist, we have our own gastroenterologist and in the ICU, in pediatric and adult ICU, they know very well how to follow the patient. They don't only follow uh, transplant patients, they know how to follow patients with hepatic insufficiency, they know how to follow the patients with renal uh, insufficiency. So in this hospital we have a lot of patients with liver and kidney problems so when they decide uh, which hospital to choose uh, don't think only the surgical part uh, the other parts are also very important